Hello, you're watching Airy TV. Welcome to English News Broadcast. These are the top stories. Eye surgery conducted on 246 nationals in the southern region. Seminar organized to nationals in Australia. Sri Lanka faces clashes over economic crisis. And thousands become homeless following heavy rain in Brazil. The local news. A commendable eye surgery has been conducted on 250 patients in six subzones of the southern region. This is according to Mr. Yamana Tsagai, head of Non-Communicable Diseases Unit in the region. Mr. Yamana said the eye surgeries were conducted in the subzones of Dibarwa, Mandefara, Araza, Amnahaili, Adhuala, and Maimena, free of charge. He also said strong effort has been conducted in the blindness prevention program throughout the country, rather the region, and that commendable result has been registered. And the prevalence of eye diseases such as trachoma and cataract is declining. Pointing out that eye diseases common in the region are usually the result of aging and lack of sanitation, Dr. Bisrat Wildegirgis, ophthalmologist at the Southern Region Refer Hospital, said if treated early, most of the diseases are preventable and surgeries are successful. The Eritrean Consulate Journal in Australia organized seminar to nationals residing in various cities of Australia and New Zealand. Speaking at the seminar, Mr. Tahaste Mahari, Journal Consulate at the Eritrean Embassy, gave an extensive briefing on the objective situation in the homeland and the region, as well as on global developments, highlighting on the effort the Eritrean people and government have been undertaking in foiling external hostilities. Mr. Mahari commended nationals abroad for their strong organizational capacity and participation in the prevailing era. He further called on the nationals to strengthen organizational capacity and nurture and transfer the noble values of the Eritrean society to posterity. The head of public and community affairs, Mr. Yasin Omar, underlined the significance of strengthening organizational capacity of the PFDJ organizations in Australia and called on the participants to work to that effect. The National Union of Eritrean Youth and Students branch in Masawa Subzone organized vocational training to 443 youths, including 257 females. At the graduation ceremony conducted on May 8th, the head of the news branch in Masawa Subzone, Mr. Dawit Tahlom, said the union, in cooperation with the partners, has been organizing training programs for the youth and called on the trainees to be productive members of the society and become role models to their peers. Mayor of Masawa, Mr. Haile Asfaha, lauded the initiative being taken by the news in organizing and empowering the youth and called on partners, rather parents, to send their children to the programs being organized by the union. And finally, certificates were handed over to participants and prizes to outstanding trainees. An elementary school in Engel Ila administrative area, Engel Alo Sabzon, has been upgraded to a junior level during the 2021-2022 academic year. Stating that new classrooms have been built for both elementary and junior level education in the area, Mr. Abdullah Hassan, director of the school, said, with the upgrading of the school, student school enrollment has increased by 60%. Residents express gratitude for the construction of the new school and upgrading the school in the area. Engel Ila School was established in 1999 and is providing service to 124 students, including 19 females. Now back in the international news after a short break. Welcome back. Damaged and burnt buses were seen on the streets of Colombia and Sri Lanka's capital as calm returned today after a day of clashes that killed seven people and injured more than 200. Police said the violence prompted Prime Minister Mahinda Jagasika to resign. 
as the Indian Ocean nation battles its worst economic crisis in history. Thousands of protesters defied curfew to attack government figures setting blaze homes, shops, and businesses belonging to ruling party lawmakers and provincial politicians. According to witnesses, the damaged vehicles transported poor government supporters to the Sri Lankan commercial city yesterday, where clashes broke out between them and anti-government protesters. Sri Lanka's unprecedented economic crisis follows a pandemic that hit key tourism earnings, rather leaving in grappling with rising oil prices and tax cuts. At least three people are dead and 7,000 are homeless after continuous heavy rain hit Turabaru City in the southern part of Brazil's Santa Catarina state. The local authorities declared a state of emergency for 22 cities and estimated that 44,000 people will be impacted by the torrential rain and flooding. Parts of the state saw over 300 millimeters of rain in the 72 hours period. As the flood waters receded into Baroa, people took to boats to navigate flooded city streets lined by destroyed or damaged buildings. Residents living close to the Tobaro River were among the worst affected by the rain, with local authorities helping them find temporary shelter. Flood warnings are still in place in large parts of Santa Catarina State. The Wenchang spacecraft launch site in South China's Henian province, which has just sent off the Tanzu 4 cargo spacecraft into orbit, will carry out three more launches later this year for China's space station construction endeavor. China launched the cargo spacecraft Tanzu 4 today to deliver supplies for the space station, which is scheduled to wrap up its construction by the end of this year. Mao Wanibayo, Deputy Director of Xianzi Satellite Launch Center, said the latest launch came after a series of optimizations that streamlined this test and launch process to boost efficiency. The Tanzu 4 launch is the first one of the construction of the space station so far this year. And a reminder of the top stories. Eye surgery conducted on 246 nationals in the southern region. Seminar organized to nationals in Australia. Sri Lanka faces clashes over economic crisis. And thousands become homeless following heavy rain in Brazil. That's it for today. Thanks for watching.